Hello, namaste. It's me, Matthew Reyes, giving you a high five, telling you how great you are, happy to see you. So let's start our practice off standing at the front of our mat. Our feet are hip distance apart. We're hanging forward and hanging down to begin. Shake out your head and your neck, your shoulders, your arms. I love this series of 10 soulful yoga mantras. And today's mantra that's really important and uh, often misunderstood or not even added to the yoga philosophy is have fun now. We're going to talk a little bit about that. Take your hands behind your back, though. Interlace your fingers. Take them off of your back as far as you like. So many yoga classes I feel are lacking the joy and the fun and the excitement of growing. They're just a little overly somber sometimes, in my opinion. So this class, make sure to show that you can absolutely grow as a human being and have fun at the same time. Release your hands down from there. Let's roll up to standing. Lift your arms up to the sky. Take a big breath in. Let's fold back down to the floor from there. Let's do that one more time. Roll up to standing. Lift your arms up. Take a big breath in. Fold back down to the floor from there. Let's walk back into down dog. Our first one of this 20 minute practice. Pedal your legs out. Then one knee, then the other back and forth as we start to warm up here. I keep your heels down evenly. Stay here a couple more breaths in down dog. I really want to emphasize the fun in a yoga practice. You can absolutely grow and gain spiritual knowledge and have fun at the same time. Let's come forward into plank together and lower down as you exhale, maybe from your knees. Arch your back up as you inhale. And let's meet back in down dog as we exhale. And one more time, let's come forward into plank again. Lower down again. Uncurl your toes, arch that back up. Back into down dog from there. Let's take a chair pose. Step or hop it up into chair pose from here. Take as low as you want to get in your legs. The overwhelming energy I want us to cultivate is fun. Can you bring an element of fun and joy and lightheartedness into each and every pose we've got? I know I will. Fold it down, straighten your legs. Let's roll up to standing. Let's come into chair pose again, but lift your heels up so it's a little bit harder to balance this time. Beautiful. Fold down and straighten your legs. Let's just walk it back into down dog from there. And take that right leg high up in the air. Let that left heel press way down. And then crescent pose. Bring that right foot up in crescent to start. Bring that foot up. Lift up in crescent. I personally use music in my yoga classes to really make sure that taps into the fun and the joy. Especially in the strength part, I want to make sure you're strong and having a good time with me as well. From here, just stay on that back foot. Let's lean out over that right leg so it's a little stronger for that right thigh. And bring your left hand down to the floor. Take that right arm up as we twist right here. So good. Good, bring that hand down to the floor. Let's step back into plank our first five push-ups as low as you want, especially as the music kicks in here. After number five, it's up dog, and we'll meet back in down dog after that. So good. When you're ready, let's, from down dog, head to the other side. Take that left leg up in the air. Let that right heel press way down. And here we go, crescent pose here. Bring that foot up and crescent to start. You got it. Now let's lean out over that left leg. Stay right here. And then last, bring your right hand down to the floor. Take that left arm up. 
for me, if I can do something strong in my yoga practice and keep a sense of joy and fun, then that's going to carry over into when I'm working in my everyday life, making sure that I carry the fun in learning and growing and moving with me as well. Bring that hand down to the floor. Step back into plank. Stay here. One arm balance. Let's roll to the outside of our right feet, foot, and that left arm reaches up. If it gets hard, drop that right knee down. You got it. Bring that left hand down to the floor. Let's do one push up, maybe from your knees. Then the other side when you're ready. Everything in our left arms as we balance here. So good. But bring that hand down to the floor. Let's just lift back up into down dog from there. Awesome. Now take that right leg up in the air. Bring your right knee to your right elbow and hold it there. Take that leg out. Let's give it a warrior two. We can step that right foot up, sweep your arms around a warrior two from there. I love how much yoga we do in just 20 minutes and I soundtrack a really nice playlist for us to practice to every single time. I have so much fun doing that for us, motivating our practice through music. Let's take reverse warrior, reach that right arm back next. Let's come back into warrior two from there. And last, let's bring that right hand down to the floor. Let's take that left arm behind our backs. You can stay right here and rotate that torso and that left shoulder up. If you want more, you can also clasp your fingers under that right thigh behind you, whatever you'd like. Release your hands to the floor, you got it. Step it back into plank and lower down. Up dog. We'll meet back in down dog. See if you can feel that warrior side and have fun at the same time. It's really the focus and the philosophy that I want to bring in from the yoga <laughs> philosophic world to us now. Okay, that other side. Let's take that left leg up in the air. Bring that knee toward your left elbow and hold it here. Awesome. Take that leg back out. Warrior two, bring that left foot up, keep your arms around and warrior two from there. Reverse warrior, reach that left arm back. Nice, bring it back into warrior two. Bring that left hand down to the floor. Take that right arm behind your back. Maybe wrap that left hand under if you want. About 20 seconds like this. Feel that strength for sure. Also, don't lose the fun in your work. Release your hands down to the floor. Beautiful. Step back to plank. Lower down from there. Up dog. And back into down dog after that. Now take that right leg up in the air. Bring that right knee toward your left elbow and hold it there. Awesome. Take that leg back out. Crescent pose, bring that foot up in crescent to begin. The music's kicking in, it's getting a little stronger, so I'm gonna push class a little bit harder. Don't lose the fun as well. Head out to warrior three, bring everything to balance out on that right leg in warrior three here. Any arm position you want. Now 
Now let's come to a half moon. Let your right fingers come to the floor. That left arm reaches up. That right hand might be on a block. But 20 seconds balancing like this. Nice. Bring that left hand down to the floor. Let's take standing splits a few more breaths. Get that left leg as high as you can. Now let's step it back into crescent where we began. And then last. Hands come together at our hearts. Bring your left tricep on your right thigh as we take crescent twist to the right, right here. Release your hands down to the floor. Let's step back into plank and lower down from there. Into up dog and back into down dog after that. Take that left leg up in the air. First, that left knee comes to your right elbow and hold it there. Take that leg back out and come into crescent pose from there. Couple breaths here. Good, then head out, warrior three, everything out on that left leg here. Turning it to half moon, left fingers come down, right arm rises. A few more minutes of the hard work. I love this tune, it makes me push really hard. So strength and fun at the same time in half moon here. Bring that hand down to the floor. We've got standing splits. Maybe that right leg can get a little bit higher here. Good, let's step it back into crescent where we began on this side here. Awesome, and then last, hands together at our heart. Crescent twist to the left as we twist on this side here. Release your hands down to the floor. Step it back into plank, lower down from there. Into up dog and back into down dog. Nice. A little bit more strike. Bring it back into plank. Stay here and mountain climbers. Right knee that left elbow. Back down, left knee, right elbow, back down. 20 seconds. Any pace you want here. Keep your feet back into plank. Just lift it back up into down dog. Step or hop it up. Chair pose for us here. Bring your hands together at your heart. Let's twist to the right for a few breaths here. Come back into chair pose. And hands back together at our heart. Twist to the left now. Fold it down, straighten your legs. Step or hop back into plank, lower down again. Good, into up dog, and back into down dog from there. And from here, come down to your knees in child's pose. Sit back on your heels, giving you another big high five. Fantastic. If you want to take reverse child's pose and lean back instead of child's, that's fine. But either way, take about 20, 30 seconds, slow your breath down, and rest. The hardest parts are done.
good and from wherever you are, come up to your hands and knees. Let's sit down on our mats and come into butterfly pose. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees out wide. For half a minute, let's come forward and down from there. Hope you have a big smile in your heart and are feeling good. You earned it. You deserve it. That was a tough 15 minutes. Let's just rest it here. Bring your torso up. Let's bring our knees together and roll onto our backs from there. One back bend for us. Set your feet down on the floor. And when you're ready, lift your hips up in the air. Either interlace your hands under you for bridge or wheel, whichever you'd like. Did it. Bring it down. Let's come into a happy baby. Reach inside your knees. Grab the outside of your feet. I love that combination of feeling your strength in the yoga practice, but also keeping joy alive. Release those feet. Hug your legs in. Let's rock up to sitting. Extend both legs straight out in front of us for a forward bend. Our legs are together and out. And when you're ready, just take your hands as far down your legs as you want. 30 seconds here. And rest it like this. Let's bring our bodies up from here. Roll to your back from there. Set your feet on the floor. Let's take thread the needle. Bring your right ankle just above your left knee. Sweep your right hand through. Clasp your hands outside that left shin, under your left calf, or whatever feels good for you. 30 seconds as we open our hip on this side here. And the mantra, the yoga spiritual mantra that I want to bring in that's important to the whole totality of the yoga spirituality is keeping fun in the practice. Spiritual work does not have to be so focused that it loses the joy, the fun. So with this practice, especially today, making sure that's a part of what we are doing together. And to come out, unclasp your hands, uncross your legs, set up the other side, left ankle on that right knee, the left arm sweeps through, about 20 seconds, 30 seconds here, as that hip opens up on this side. Uncross your legs, unclasp your hands. Let's hug both legs in and just rock a little bit from side to side. Give your back a little massage after all that. Keep your right leg in. Let your left leg extend out on the floor. Last couple twists. Take that knee to the left for a few breaths here. When I started practicing yoga, every class was really quiet and people weren't connecting. And there wasn't any kind of fun or joy as class started. Okay, bring that leg back up to center. Let's switch sides, hug your left leg in. And when you're ready, take that knee over to the right for a few breaths. And I always thought that yoga was a means of bringing out your best, fullest self. And part of that self is joy and fun. So when I started practicing and teaching, I really wanted to make sure that there's fun 
in our classes, especially with the music. I want to keep a lighthearted feel. Okay, bring that leg back up to center. Extend that leg out. And as we head into Shavasana, find a place you're comfortable, where you feel relaxed, and just close your eyes with me from here. And last, take a big breath in and hold that deep breath in. Open your mouth and sigh that breath all out. I love what we've just done together, strengthening our bodies and our minds and our souls all at the same time and doing it with this have fun now theme. So in these final minutes as you rest, feel that your heart is enjoying who you are, is enjoying the journey of getting better and better, is enjoying our time on our yoga mat, and just loves who you are and feels happy and content and feels the fun in exploring everything about the greatness of who you are. These final few minutes, feel all of that. Begin moving your fingers once again now, and toes, and slide your heels gently back, and roll to your right side with me. Let's press up to sitting from there. When you exist in your yoga practice when your mind goes inward you have the feeling of who you are in your heart in your spirit in your divinity and your own true nature yoga believes that your true nature comes from goodness and joy and fun All those are a part of the love of who you are and who I am and that connectedness that all of us have to one another and to the divine. I appreciate who you are. I love when you're introverted and quiet and I love when you're fun and outgoing and extroverted. It's all part of the tapestry of who you are. Thank you for bringing that out in your practice today. 
and into your life in every single place you go. Have fun now. I'm sending you all my love and joy from my heart to yours. Namaste. I'm laughing right now because when we came out of Shavasana, I didn't say bring your hands together at your heart or close your eyes. And when I recorded it, I made three errors. So I had to go back like three times during my practice and fix the vocal errors when I recorded them. And the lesson for me was if that would have happened five, 10 years ago, I would have been really pissed off and mad that it wasn't perfect and I didn't like get it right and I had to go back and re-edit it. Uh, but now in my life, with all these mantras, uh, I just brought the fun and the playfulness into, oh well, I made a little bit of an error, no big deal. I couldn't have been that lighthearted with myself years ago. But especially since this mantra was have fun now, and it had been hitting me over and over that it's important to just have fun, uh, I was in that space. So there were a bunch of little errors here and there, didn't really matter to me because I, I love the end product. Like, does it matter that I didn't say bring your hands together at your heart or close your eyes? Not really. You got it. <laughs> so that was my lesson. Uh, the painting for Have Fun Now is right back there. And so maybe to use as a complimentary piece, check in with the meditation for Have Fun Now. Uh, it's a really nice one whenever you feel like your heart needs a little bit of uplifting. Thank you for practicing with me. It makes me feel really good that you're interested in yoga, that you're interested in bettering yourself, that your spiritual component of who you are is, is important and you're really moving towards it and towards a, a bigger sense of being whole. And that just makes me feel that the world's a smaller place because there's more people now that are interested in making themselves brighter and evolving upward, upward, and upward. I go on and on about complimenting you. I'll tell you one more time. I think you're fantastic and amazing. Thank you for practicing with me. I look forward to our next yoga practice. Have fun now as much as you can the rest of this day. Namaste. And it's the brush that both carry. You don't ever have to look too far. You don't have to cover up your scars. Perfect darling, just the way you are So before you think to rip yourself apart Open up my heart and you'll find love, love, love